In this video, we will learn about registration process with the email and password. And also, we will implement this registration with MVM alongside a login feature as well. So, let me go to the coding. As you can see, the screen is already built in in XML. Because to save the time, I already wrote the code which is necessary to have the fields in a registration screen. So let me go through quickly. These two are text view which is label but nothing just showing registration and also with the headline. And also first name with the edit box, then last name with the edit box, then job title with edit box and email and password, then login. And the login button we have reality layout with the material button and along with progress bar. So if a user click on it registration, the text will invisible and the progress bar will show us. So it shows an indication to the user that, that something is happening in the backend. Then second thing, I will go to the registered fragment Kotlin class. I also have wrote some code. Then first thing is I initialize the binding. Then after that, I created a validation function. It will check the values. If the values are there in the edit box, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will return error. And also I have another function get user object that will construct the user object with the data and return to when we want to pass that object to the register function currently we haven't that function created yet then the other thing is observer so observer is a function where we will be observing the live data that is pretty much regarding register fragment xml and the kotlin class then the other thing is the user object so in the user object, we have a data class with having five different fields, ID, first name, last name, job title, and email. And there is another thing in the validation is valid email. It's nothing just checking the enter email, whether it's valid or not by checking the with the help of patterns of email address. So that is pretty much regarding, I will need to have a repository for that authentication process like registration, login, forget password so in order to do that i will create or by simply copy that class with rename it authent auth repository i will remove some of the functions from there and will rename it these of the function login user register user and forget password Currently, we will focus on register user. So we need to pass the user object in that function. In result, we will pass a message, whether success or failure. Auth repository interface is created. Now we will create the auth repository implementation class. I will copy the not repository implementation class and will replace it with auth repository implementation. And there I will replace with auth repository interface now we got the error because we haven't overwrite these functions which is existing in the auth repository in order to do that i will simply just remove this function and overwrite one by one now we have overwrite all the function which is in the auth repository in interface i will focus on the register user so in order to register user, we need to have another dependencies, Firebase auth, but for we need to implement, I have copied that library from another project and will sync now. So for there, we will provide a dependency through the dagger held. I will go to the repository module and copy that function and paste it, provide auth repository. I will change that as well, auth repository implement that class and auth repository now in auth repository implementation we need to have two different dependencies one is firebase firestore dependencies and other one is firebase auth so for do that i will go to the firebase module and there i will create another function which will return firebase auth now we have created the firebase auth dependencies in the firebase module i will go to the repository module and there i will simply auth Firebase auth. 
and we'll pass it from there as well. Now we'll go to the auth repository implementation. I will create another dependency there, Firebase auth. Now we have the two dependency which were required to register and update the user info in the Firestore database. I will simply call a function create user with email and password. Now we have missed two of the fields. One is password and one is email. So we need to pass both the fields separately. So I will again go to the interface auth repository interface. I will add two of the fields. One is email and one is password. Now we'll go to the auth repository implementation. I will create these two fields there as well. Now you are good to go with the create user with email and password. Email and password. Now we need to override two of the callbacks. One is add on complete listener and add on failures listener. I will simply select add on complete listener and add on failure listener. And add on complete listener, I will check if the task is successful or not. If it's successful, then we will pass the success UI state. If it's not, then we will pass the failure UI state. In the failure case, we will also pass the UI failure state. Now, I will copy the state, the success and failure state from there in order to save the time. So, in the failure case, it's done. Now, we'll go to the success case, then we'll go there. In the success case, I will simply just pass the message that user register successfully. Now I have quickly wrote that. So, so these are the different exceptional cases I handled there like invalid authentication, authentication failed, password should at least six characters, authentication failed, invalid email enter, authentication failed, email already registered. So these are some of the exceptions or I handled like in this way. So we are pretty much done with the register user, but there is one thing left more. So in that case, suppose if the user is registered, I want to update the user info as well on the Firestore. For do that, we need to have another function where we will create a document inside a collection and will add these user related info in that document. I will create simple another function which will update user info. In that case, I will pass simply the user object and also callback which will pass the message if the user data is info updated successfully or not. I will go to the auth repository implementation. I will override that function user info. Now in the database collection, I will go to the constant class where we have the collection object class. I will create another field which will refer to user firestore collection user. Now for getting the document ID, I will simply create a variable document. We have the ID field. Initially, it's set as empty. Now I want to update that user ID with the document ID. Now we set the document ID. I will simply go to the not repository and will copy that code from there in order to save the time and yes so this time we will set the user object so what will happen when that when that function call it we are passing two of the parameters one is user object one is callback so in the user object we already have an information except the user id so to the user id we are assigning document id so we have all the necessary information now we'll simply set that user which will uh, create a document inside the user collection and we'll set this field to that document okay now again error we have missed the parenthesis from there okay now it's fine so at this time the user has been updated successfully okay 
first then we'll return the callback with the message user register successfully so i'll pass that user object and there states a uh, state to remove the confusion now i just converted that it to the state now state dot error we are pretty much good with the error case now handling the in the success case i simply return that callback with the message user register successfully now we have we have done two things with the registering user so first we register the user with the email and password then secondly once the user is registered successfully then in that case i also want to update the user info as well so in this case we will see two different things like one is the email and password on the authentication tab in the firebase console and the second one is the document with having a user related info in the collection user so that is pretty much regarding the auth repository implementation now we need a view model for that and we already know that how to create a view model so i will simply go to the now there is another thing we need to create a package and name it ui so in the ui i will put that note in the ui as well and also i will move that register to the ui as well now in that case i will create another package which will call auth and will move that register to the auth so for the registration login and for gift password we will have a single view model for that I will copy that view model and paste it and name it with auth view model. In that case, we need auth repository and also I will simply focus on the register. So also a live data and a function. Now we are pretty much good to go with the auth view model as well. I will remove that. So our auth view model is also pretty much ready for the register user. Now we'll go to the register fragment. In that case, I will have first thing first, we'll call that function. When user click on it, I will pass three of the things. One is two string and third one is user object. He already created that function for the purpose to construct that user object and return it now we pass three of the things to the register function now in the observer we need to observe that register live data when user click on register button remember i told you we have a relative layout with a with two different view one is button one is progress bar when user click on it so the button ticks will be invisible and the progress bar will shows to the user until the action is completed in loading case in the failure case we will revert back to register and hide and also in the success case as well in the success case we also need to show a toast message yes so the live data is also functional and the function is also there I guess we are pretty much done with the register fragment. So let me repeat uh, quickly again. First thing I construct that layout in the XML and having different fields there. And again in the Kotlin class I have two three different functions. One is validations which will checking the values of this field. Second one is get user object. So if the data is there, it will create a user object and return it. And the third one is observer. It will observe the live data. And the register button, when a user click on it, it will check the validation. If it successfully, then it will pass three of the fields to the register function, email, password, and user. In the view model, we have that function. So when it call that function, it will call another function in the repository. So in the repository implementation, we have that function, register user, and email password user so for registering a user 
we have we need to have another dependency which which is called firebase auth and we know that how we did that in the di so we go there in the firebase module and create another function which will return firebase auth then go to the repository module which will return an auth repository with having two dependencies auth and database on the auth repository implementation i'll have simply call that function create user with email and password and pass the email and password now we have two listener add on complete listener and add on failure listener so in complete i am checking if it's successful and or if it's not successful if it's successful then i have another function created which will update the user info inside the collection of user with under document and once the data is updated then i will return that callback with the message user register successfully if it's a failure cases we have different exception invalid authentication and so is the other cases as well so that is how pretty much regarding for the register we will add that to the jetpack navigation component and also link that with the main screen i will go to the navigation and there i will add that fragment when a user register we will go there not listing fragment so that is pretty much regarding the jetpack navigation and also we need to navigate to the not listing fragment as well so how we do that we already knew that from the not listing fragment and user click on it and that's how we navigate there to another fragment i'll copy that code and in the success case when we show that toast message in that case we will navigate from the register to not testing and we don't need to pass anything to that fragment the registration is not working that's because we haven't enabled that from the firebase console i will go to the firebase console go to the authentication tab in that case i will simply click on get started and we will select one of the method provider i will select with the email and password i will enable and save it so our sign in provider with the email and password is enabled now for some reason the emulator was not working fine so i run that application on my physical device and let's see if that is working or not now we have filled the data and we click on the register button so the user is successfully registered so we will check on firebase console as well the user is there and also we'll check on the firestore database as well we have collection user and a document inside and with necessary information so that is pretty much regarding to the registration process we will check that in the next video how the login is working